Hello. My name is Anne Shirley, but please call me Cordelia. I think Cordelia is a much better name for me, don't you think? I am truly honored and excited to be going to Green Gables with you, Mr. Cuthbert. I feel I'm the most fortunate girl in, in the whole universe. Or at least the whole dominion of Canada. <sighs> Hello. My name is Anne Shirley, but please call me Cordelia. There she is at the end of the platform. Oh, but it's a boy I've come for. Mrs. Spencer was to bring a boy over from Nova Scotia here to Bright River. Then I was to take him home to Avonlea. Well, Mrs. Spencer got off the train with that girl and left her in my charge till you got here. There must be some mistake. <clears throat> Maybe she can explain it. She sure is a talk of that one. Now you'll excuse me, Matthew. That was the last train today. I'm going home for my supper. Oh, I do hope you are Mr. Matthew Cuthbert. Well now, I reckon that's me. Hello, my name is Anne Shirley, but please call me Cordelia. I think Cordelia's yes, in the Yes, I heard you saying all that a little earlier. You were talking kind of loud. Oh, yes, we tend to do that where I come from. I was beginning to be afraid you weren't coming for me. If you hadn't, I was going to climb that big cherry tree down the tracks and spend the night in it. You're not a boy. But I can climb all the same, and I wouldn't have been the least bit afraid. I'd have pretended the blossoms in the moonlight were columns in a castle. Well now, I guess I can't just leave you here. I'll take you home and see what Morella says. The horse and buggy are over there. I'll carry your bag. Oh, I can manage it. All my worldly goods are in it, but it isn't heavy. Oh, no, isn't that beautiful? What? That tree over there. What does it make you think of? Well, now, I don't know. Bride, of course, the misty veil. I never expect to be a bride myself. I'm so homely, nobody would ever want to marry me. Except maybe a foreign missionary. <laughs> Not only am I homely, I'm also thin. I love to imagine I'm nice and plump with dimples in my elbows. Am I talking too much? People are always telling me I do. Would you rather I didn't talk? Well, no. I don't mind talking to folks so much since I'm kind of quiet myself. Talk as much as you like. Oh, thank you. I can already tell we're going to be kindred spirits, Mr. Cuthbert. I can hardly wait to see Green Gables. Mrs. Spencer told me there's a brook nearby. Oh, that makes me almost perfectly happy. But I can never be perfectly happy because of this. Your hair? What color would you call it? Red, ain't it? Yes, red. I can imagine the way my freckles and green eyes and skin is not my own hair. Do you ever imagine what it would be like to be divinely beautiful, Mr. Cuthbert? Well, now, no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Will your sister like me even though I'm not divinely beautiful? I doubt that'll bother her much, but something else might. It might bother her a whole lot. We'd better get home. Oh, oh what a lovely sound. Almost angelic. I don't know that I'll ever get used to it. Let's hope you get the chance. Come on. <laughs> oh, yes, let's not delay. Mrs. Spencer told me all about Green Gables, and it seems like a dream. I pinched myself black and blue with the album. 